we kick season four off with a potential job interview. Now, I am not going to go for this job interview, but I'm going to use this opportunity to say that if we do get the opportunity to move to an interesting club still in Romania, we might jump at it. Right now, FC Arges, we are slowly trying to build those that team basically into a championship quality side and playing into Europe. But we might get bored. If we keep winning the league every year, we might jump ship to somebody else. This was interesting. Until I realised that Cluj were actually awful last season, so we didn't go for it. Last season with our FC Arges side, we did finish second place in the relegation group, and we almost qualified for Europe. Unfortunately, we didn't qualify for Europe. And that was because we lost 2-0 in the European playoff final against Farol Costanza. We arguably weren't good enough to get to this point anyway, so just getting to this place was actually pretty good. This season... I'm hoping to finish in the top half. We want to be finishing in the championship places and hopefully as well we can finish the season in Europe. And already on the 7th of July, we've done some transfer business. We've sold a couple of players. Stefan Gavrilov is one of them to leave £69,000 going to near Salamina, whoever they are. We've also got rid of Etboy Akpan who has gone back to his native Nigeria signing for Plateau United on a free transfer. And Toaster has also moved on. He played once, conceded twice and we've sold him to Polytechnica Iasi for £100 and ten thousand pounds and with that money, we have, first of all, loaned in Thomas Povelson from our feeder club AAB over in Denmark. This could be a very good bit of business, and not just Povelson in general, but having that Danish feeder club of AAB, they will be producing some pretty good youngsters, and we can loan them for free. And speaking of players joining on free transfers, we have a Jacques Ndai, who is a Senegalese striker, signed from Tuengueth, might be what they're called. He's played 123 times for them, scoring 54 goals. He is moving over to Romania. And I'm thinking he could be one of our best players this season. Sticking with our African players, we have Athan Kossi Makaba, who is a 23-year-old South African central defender signed from Stellenbosch on a free transfer. He looks very good to me. And we've also managed to pick up a Romanian player released from FCSB, Dorian Rotaru, a 30-year-old right and left winger, once again on a free transfer. So far, that is all the business we've done at the moment. When it comes to season preview, I'm thinking, I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm thinking we're going to be like ninth, eighth. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, will I take 8th? I don't think I will take 8th. We want to be top 6 is kind of our target. Looking at the Dream 11, we've actually got Usman Kamara in there. So we've got Kamara in the best 11. If we actually look who else we've got, Kamara and Sankara. So Usman Kamara is in there. Sankara doesn't make it because I assume, what's his name, Florinel Komen is that, yeah, he's pretty good, isn't he? Right, we're going to jump forward now to the end of the summer transfer window. Much more transfer business is going to take place. And obviously, we are going to have a little bit of a results-wise as well. And maybe we'll be, like, probably 12th. When we, we'll be 12th. Oh, how wrong I was. We are not 12th. We are sat top of the table. Nine games played, seven wins, two draws, zero defeats, 23 points on the board. Can can we do a Leicester? Can we do a Leicester with Arges? Could we win the league? I mean, we're nine games in. It's probably not going to happen. Right, let's talk about transfer business. There's a few names there you might have already spotted. Joining the club on a free transfer is Ferdi Droif, who is a 28-year-old Dutch striker. He's come in, like I said, on a free transfer. Not really a goal machine, but I'm hoping he can do all right for us. He's already got five goals in eight starts and three assists. So he's not a goal machine for anybody else, but maybe playing for Arges, this is where he needs to be. We have also signed young Romanian attacker midfielder Catalin Serjan, formerly of Arsenal. He was released on a free transfer, and we are going to be retraining him to be a deep player playmaker because first of all we don't play attacking midfielders in the middle and also he's Romanian and he's very good at football so I want to make sure that we get the most out of our Romanian players Serjan as a DLP I think he can do that job he just needs a bit of retraining and his central midfield partner is going to be Matthias Keit, a 28-year-old Estonian central midfielder, formerly of FC Rapid in, I don't even know what nation they're in. Where are they from? They are from Romania. I don't, my brain was telling me Austria for some reason. I don't know why. It is, of course. They're in Bucharest, aren't they? It is uh, Matthias Keit, formerly of Fulham. He played for Fulham and Ross County, apparently. He's had a strange career, hasn't he? But yeah, he's come in. He's going to be a ball winner midfielder with his... What's 10 tackling? Not the best idea, but that's what he's going to do. So we're going to have Serjan and Kate in the middle of midfield. Two players for the future as well. Abubakar Diawara is a Malian central midfielder. He's cost about £15,000 from Real Bamako, a club that you really need to be looking at if you want to find decent young African footballers. I think they're from Mali. Uh, yeah, but they're a very good team. And we brought in Diawara. And another player we have brought in is Mit Selik, who is a Turkish central midfielder who was available on a free transfer and randomly turned up on a scout report. And I went, sure, bring you in. You look pretty good mentally. 
He might be good, he might be awful. There has also been a fair amount of business leaving the club. Nikija Valentine is the first one going to Dunkirk for about £60,000 and not a lot of money. For £600,000, however, Clement Ogbobe has moved over to Saudi Arabia. We were playing him quite a lot, but this is one of the reasons why I brought in Kite and one of the reasons why I brought in Serjan is because £600,000 is a lot of money for a team like us. We've also sold on Blessings at Sarapinda for just £37,000, kind of dropping down the pecking order now that we're, we're kind of... We're a decent team. I mean, we're a title challenger so far at the moment. And because of the signing of Makaba, we decided, I say we, I decided, to sell Salomon Bin Jeme. He played only 15 times for us last season, but he's moved over to Polytechnica Iasi for £300,000, which is a decent bit of profit. And he's dropped down a league. How have they got money... And we haven't, and we're in the top league. I mean, we've got a bit of money. We've got 1.15 million. So that is our transfer business. That is all we're really going to do. I say all we're going to do because the transfer window has closed. And the reason why we are top of the table is because things have gone extremely well. I assume we haven't played anyone good. I mean, we've played Cluj and we've drawn 2-2 of them, which is fine. We've beaten FC Rapid. We've beaten FC SB 4-1 is a very good result, a 5-0 win there as well. So we've started the season very well. From a tactics perspective, this is what we're going for. And all I'm locking in is Serjan and Kate. Everyone else can kind of do their own business. Serjan, like I said, can't play as that DLP on support, but he is training there. He's going to be playing there week in, week out as well. So we're just going to see what they do with the strikers because the strikers were kind of, if we scroll down, I don't really care who they play up front. I imagine it might be Droif and then die up front, and then Kamara and Sankara on the wings? That's what I'm thinking, and actually, that might be a decent way to go. And speaking of Kamara, he's out of contract at the end of the season, and he does not want to sign a new one at the moment. Um, We need him to sign a new one. I've got him kind of available for £3 million, because if we get someone for £3 million, I think we're going to have to take the money, but I'd rather not lose him, because he is one of our best players. In fact, he's one of the best players in Romania. Speaking of as well, the season preview has changed slightly. We're up to sixth, which is very, very good. But interestingly, if I can I can turn that off, there we go. We now have Serge and Kamara and Sankara are all in at the Media Dream 11. So we are getting better. I'm surprised Serjan's in there, but fair enough. Sankara now will lead in the line with Kamara on the right-hand side. Sixth I'll take. I, I, now I'm thinking, because we're top and we're sixth at the moment, I'm thinking higher. I'm thinking fourth. We are now at the winter break. And we are still top of the league. 12 wins, 6 draws, 3 defeats. Joint on points with FCSB. But the league sorting rules is not goal difference. It is results against, I believe. I will need to double check this. But I assume that's what it is. League sorting. Results between teams after all matches have been played only. Then goal difference. Then goal scored. Okay. So once all the games are played then it will use that, but, I mean, arguably, we have we? Maybe we have. I don't know. Have we played them twice? We can, I mean, we can check, can't we? Uh, we have played them twice. We drew 3-3 and beat them 4-1. So, that is why we're on top of the table at the moment. We did have a bit of a rough patch going through November. We're actually not winning a single match. In fact, t t October and November was not particularly great, was it? Losing to Ferro Costanza, Dynamo Bucharest, and Sepsi losing three matches. Getting knocked out of the cup? No, it's not. It's the group stage. We got knocked out of the cup. We did get knocked out of the cup. Okay, doesn't matter. We can focus on trying to win the league, which somehow is still a possibility. At the winter break as well, we want to take a look at some players. So Freddie Droyf, obviously joining in the summer on a free transfer, now has 14 goals in all competitions, 10 league goals in 19 appearances, 17 starts. He has been an absolute revelation for us. He's very good for some reason. Sankara as well has chipped in with nine goals and six assists in all competitions, playing very well, but he is wanted. He's wanted by FCSB. Right, he's not going anywhere in Romania. If he's going somewhere, he's off to Saudi Arabia for a huge sum of money. Another player that I really don't want to lose, but it is looking more and more likely it's going to happen. Usman Kamara still has not signed a new contract, does not want to sign a new contract. He has got eight goals and three assists in all competitions so far for us this season, so he's still doing pretty well playing on that right-hand side by the looks of it. Serjan is still not a fully-fledged defensive midfielder, and that is because he's broken his ankle, which is kind of frustrating, but it's fine. He's still playing there once he returns from his injury. I imagine that looks like he might have just done that fairly recently. Not recently, he did it on the 25th of October, which by the looks of it means Pakoma Zazua has basically just come back into his regular position as that DLP, which he's good at, he's playing all right, he's got a goal and three assists to his name. So next up, we're going to jump forward to the other side of the January transfer window. We've got a bit of money to spend. I'm not really sure 
if I want to do any business because we are top of the table and it seems pointless to spend money for the sake of spending money. My main target is to tie down Kamara to a new contract. That has to be my main goal. We have actually jumped to the end of the regular season because basically there were three matches between the transfer window closing and then the end of the regular season. So that is where we have jumped to and we are top of the table, eight points clear of FCSB. They've got a game in hand so it could drop down to just what? Seven, five, five points. That's how numbers work. Could drop down to five points, but we are eight points clear. So we are definitely into the top six battle. We're into a title charge. We could be champions. We could definitely Leicester this. Over the January transfer window as well, there was a little bit of transfer business to talk about. Razvan Ayakob, probably not how it's said. He's left the club. Wasn't ever going to play for us. He's moved on. I say wasn't ever going to play for us. He played three times, but you know what I mean. Joining the club, we did do one bit of strengthening, and I kind of realised that we were missing out on a decent left back. Samba Diatra is a 22-year-old Senegalese at fullback, signed from Diambars in his native Senegal for £200,000, I think. It's a lot of money, but... I think he's a very good footballer, still young as well, so hopefully he can progress, grow a little bit as well. Maybe we sell him in a few years' time once we start getting in the Champions League. I'm already thinking big now. And I know we've just looked at him, but Freddie Droyf has now got 12 goals in the league, four in all competitions. He's, he's ridiculous. He's not even that good, but he for some reason is amazing for us. And the clock is ticking on Usman Kamara's time in Romania. He's got three months left. Nobody's offered him a deal yet, so he's not leaving, but he's only got three months left to go. And he just does not want to sign a new contract. Every time I try and offer him a contract, his agent turns around and says, my client isn't currently interested in entering contract discussions with your club. He wants to explore his options at the end of his contract. I don't want him to get to that part. Anyway, we are now going to jump forward to the end of the season. We are going to obviously be playing 10 more matches. So it's going to be FCSB, Pe Petrolol, Piotti, Hermannstadt, Bucharesti, and I assume Voluntari, or it could be, Universitatia Craiovia. That's probably not how that's said either. But basically, we're going to be playing those teams 10 times in total. And we might be champions of Romania. In five years, we've gone from a Division 2 side to champions of the country, hopefully. What happened? What actually happened? I assume FCSB just fell off. But we are champions by 11 points? Champions by 11 points. Seven wins out of 10. And they're comfortable wins. 4-1, 4-0, there's a 3-0 in there as well. Just the one draw against FCSB, two defeats, Hermannstad and Craiovia. So we, we're champions of Romania. Let, I'm, I'm genuinely in shock. We are champions of Romania after five seasons. It's, it's not even five seasons, it's four seasons, isn't it? Which means next year we are in the Champions League? When Are we in the Champions League? Are we actually in the champ? We're in the qualifying rounds. So we're not in the Champions League. There's a long way to go. Right, let's take a look at coefficients. Something I haven't done just yet in this save. So nation coefficients. Romania currently 25th in the list. And they are potentially moving up actually next year. So nope, they're moving down. Right, okay. They're moving down to 26th next year. There is a long way to go. So if we do get ourselves into Europe, it means we need to do pretty well. We want to be getting to 15th. That's kind of the dream because then you get two teams in the Champions League, one team into the Europa League, and then two teams into Europa Conference League. That's kind of where you want to get to early on. Anything below 15th doesn't really help you at all, does it? Because it's just you still have to go through the same path. 10th is the big dream. That is straight into the Champions League if you win the league. That is hopefully a few years away, but not like not like 10, maybe like five years away. So those final results then, we finished the season in style. A 4-1 win. Jean, Jean, Jacques Ndai with a hat-trick in the final game of the season. How did he do in the end? 12 goals off the bench. 12 goals off the bench. Okay, he didn't play as much as I thought he would, but still, getting 12 goals is pretty impressive. Ferdy Droyf getting 21 from 36 starts. I mean, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. He's not, He's got no right to be that good. Sankara as well, playing pretty well. 13 goals, 11 assists is big. And the big talking point is Usman Kamara has got 13 goals and 10 assists in all competitions. He is wanted by FCSB. However, he's been offered a contract. He wants to talk now that we're champions. Kamara might be sticking around for another season. 
Some other people that's probably worth mentioning, Serjan did eventually come back from his broken ankle, play the rest of the season as that DLP, which is a position that he can kind of now play. He's actually more of a roaming playmaker. Maybe we do that. Matthias Kite as well played 31 times as that defensive midfielder, as a ball winner. It's not really his natural position. He's not really very good as a ball in the midfielder, but he's, he's good at football. He can't mark or tackle. Maybe we need a new one of them next season. Somebody who came through our youth intake in, I think, season one is Cosman Pop. And he's starting to play for us. I think he's starting. He's actually played 32 times for us. He played a lot last season. Played a little bit so far this season. He's starting to get good. We need to really not have Sankara playing on that left-hand side. And then Cosman Pop might actually kind of break into the first team. Maybe next year... We try and rotate Pop in and out of the first team. Of the players, he's not the only youngster that's kind of getting game time, but he's kind of the main one. We've got a few others. A po is is he's played a few. I think he's played quite a lot off the bench. Yeah, 14 off the bench. He's out of contract as well in the summer, so maybe we might look at doing that. Well, that's going to do it for this season. Season 4, where we are champions of Romania, completely out of the blue. Next season, we're going on a European adventure, and we have to try and defend our title, which I think going to be very difficult isn't it I think it's definitely going to be very difficult because we were not good enough to win the league this time around the fact that we've done it is good but I think a lot of that is due to other teams falling off I think that may the main thing here other teams fell off and we took advantage of that so next season season five we're into the Champions League hopefully probably we'll probably go into the Europa Conference League let's be honest but also we are trying to defend our title which by the way is just our third Romanian first league title ever and this is this is weird. This is mad. Like we we basically got promoted, finished ninth, finished eighth, finished first. There there is an anomaly there. There is definitely an anomaly there, and it's definitely the season we've just had. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.